Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another retrospective. It is the Land Before Time Great Valley Racing Adventure. This game is the biggest throwaway game you have ever seen. And I mean ever seen. This game is so short, so simple, so average. It's, it really isn't funny at this point. It's just ridiculous. Now the aim of this game is you need to run through each level like this collecting stuff, making sure you have enough points to clear the level. It's like an extreme version, or like a 3D version of um, like the running games, you know, that you get like, you know, temple run, stuff like that, except incredibly easy, no risk, no death. Um, it's just, it's pretty much pathetic, really. It's a terrible, terrible game, really. Um, the only redeeming factor is that graphically I can actually see what they were going for, and actually can appreciate it uh, in that regard but I mean other than that it's just so lazy so lame look at look at it look at it we're riding on this thing like this it looks like they wanted to implement these cool concepts and they're like actually nah let's just make it running um, now I don't remember playing this game as a kid I believe in the original let's play I did think I did play it but I was actually wrong I got a different game up it's actually another game where it's basically about running you like run it's in the PS1 I remember I played it at my friend Matthew Zool's house um, and uh, yeah, they get level one complete. I mean, look, there's no music in the game as well. That's even worse. I found another track. Another track. Another track? Where? Over there. Another track over there. Yes, there is. What do you think, guys? You want to check it out? How lame is that? Like, like, are they? Uh, who are they trying? To, who are they trying to fool? I mean, that's just ridiculous. No, I don't. We've already unlocked like two levels anyway, probably unlock like half the levels. So yeah, basically, you know, there's no music, I'm just using my own music here. Right now we got underground, under sound ground playing. Check that out, it's on SoundCloud, there, there you go, there's my uh, there's my plug. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put my own music in the, as the background music, because there's nothing. I mean, look at it, it's just, it, it, there's the one bit, there's the, that's it, but that's, that's just like, that's it. Other than that, it's done. There's little things here where you jump up, which I think is quite cool. Now, each level, I think, requires a slightly larger amount of things to be collected here. Now, we actually cleared that first level by, like, 3,000 points or something like that, I believe. Something pretty crazy. This one, you know, it, it gets more difficult as it goes. Now, they have different values. Let's see what the yellow one does. 6-3 goes to 6-5. That's 200. Yep, that's 200. That's 100. That's... That's also... Is that also? Wait. I got no idea. Wait. Oh, whoop. What a threat, guys. What a threat. I, I'm, I'm so arrogant. Look at this. I'm going to skip. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Look at this challenge. Oh, my God. I'm done. I'm done. Look at it. Done, 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 done. We are done, in the words of the Madden Brothers. Um, you know that song? You know, done, 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 done. We are done. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yep. No singing. All right. Look at this. This is piss easy. Classic game. I don't know anyone that would be able to be satisfied playing this. Like, I mean, like, you just, you just, like, if it feels like everything's on autopilot. Like, I feel like I'm not having to do anything to do this. There you go. Level two complete. And look, once you do that, get back to the music. Here comes the amazing track. Rolling Hills Dash. Let's play Spike now. We're going to play as every character four times throughout the Let's Play. This will be two parts. Realistically, it only has to be one. This is going to be a little bit like the other game. Um, what's that game called? It's going to be a bit like uh, the Lion King, where it's just going to be like short, you know, short parts. But, I, you know, graphically, like, I can actually appreciate this. Like, if they converted this into like a, a platformer, like a proper platformer, or, you know, something like that, like a action game like you know the textures definitely would fit in an actual video game I, I hardly even class this as a video game it's not a racer it doesn't have the speed and fun you know like aspect a challenging aspect of a racer yet it doesn't have the aspects of a, of a platformer either with absolutely no risk you know like it doesn't make any sense to me i'm perplexed as to how this game came to be and who said yeah man this is going to be so marketable like i don't know i don't know who's like yeah this game is going to be like a huge success and a huge, you know, I just can't see it. It must have been really cheap to make or something like that. Uh, a bit of a shout out as well to Nintendo Gen 64, who we did an LP, we did an entire LP of this game, with the first eight levels at least. We did an entire LP of this game in a piss take, kind of piss take uh, commentary style, where we were like really hyper enthusiastic and 
full of life and awesome and cool, man. You know, we're doing that, like taking the piss out of like those big LPs that think they're really top shit by having absolutely nothing useful to say and basing everything around a theme day and being wacky and stupid shit. Here I am. I mean, I'm just taking the piss. I, I mean, who am I to really be that much better at this point? But still, you know. Spike did it. Me see, me find. What you see, what you find, huh? Another track. Much harder. It can't be too hard for me. I can do anything. Are you guys coming? <laughs> no. Um, yeah. It's like, I like it out there, like, oh my god, guys, this is so difficult. And it's like, just the easiest thing ever. Anyway, here's Long Neck Run. Some of the some of the levels look actually really cool. Like, I'll give them that. There's some... I can't remember when this game came out. Like, I don't know, I can't remember. I actually, I've forgotten. But I actually definitely can appreciate some of, yeah, as I said, some of the graphics. Like, this this would be so perfect in a, in a proper video game. Wouldn't it? it would be like you know it's got that classic PS1 style Disney game type thing you know like it's not overly incredible but it's still actually worth you know worth noting it's notable that's definitely a good way of describing it it's a notable video game graphic I mean it's not remark it's <laughs> you know remark you know remark and note you know it's not remarkable uh, in the same aspect like a Spyro game would be or a Crash Bandicoot game, but it's notable mm. You can take note of how it looks. Sorry for suddenly patronizing there, Jesus, sorry, but Hopefully you get what I'm saying, you know um, And actually some of the le some of the levels in the second part of the let's play are actually really quite cool in terms of its texture Like there's a really great texture in there mm. that wouldn't be mistaken for a more modern game actually uh, or you you could mistake it if if it wasn't for just a low resolution, but just in general you kind of look at it and go, actually that's not too bad, you know. Um, I'll show you a bit. You see that in the next part, of course. Now I really should be looking at the amount of points you need to get to pass each level. Uh, oh, this one, oh, that one, that one. Uh, see that one? No, you can't go backwards. By the way, that's just another tip to make it more difficult. But yeah, you, yeah, that one, that one the other, uh, all the robe was quite slimy and shit. So that's that's quite cool. All right, there we go. Twelve thousand. I reckon it's. F I reckon I might just miss out there. Actually, have we got it? Not thirteen thousand. Now you get a cutscene like every two levels, and the cutscenes. Are, yeah, they just there's no story to this game. There's no like. Uh, there you go. Best scores. Oh, only eleven thousand. What the hell? You only need eleven v each one. Oh, that one you need. There you go. Alright, anyway, here's uh, Dino Dash. Now, did I accidentally play as the other one for two, three characters? No, it doesn't matter. We'll see. Here's Sarah. It's spelt C-E-R-A. Sarah, as in Michael Sarah. I mean, what, who are they, who are they trying to pull? I mean, okay, I get, at the time, Michael Sarah was not uh, a famous actor. He was just a mere child. He hadn't even had his break on Arrested Development yet. Which my parents, right now, are watching. Right now, in the other room, they're watching the rest of development. Yep. What an incredible moment in my life. The more people you introduce to Arrested Development, the better. It's like it's like a chain effect, you know, and you, you get good karma from it. Like, you know, Mitch Hurwitz, who, who he'll, he'll know, like, he'll have telepathically in his head, he'll be like, Guys, you've just given me another f source of revenue. You are a hero, Andrew. Andrew Fisher. And you shall be rewarded in due course. Uh, my last name is not Fisher, by the way. Just to let you know. Alright, so, anyway. Why are you watching this video? That's a good question to ask. Why exactly are you, Mr. Random, either YouTube subscriber? Now, actually, in fact, if you're a YouTube subscriber of mine at this point, in 2014, watching a retrospective of a game I originally did in, you know, 2011, um, you're probably watching this because you like me, and you know, I like you too. But the question is, the people that are looking this up, you know, searching for it, like a majority of the audience in the other LP, why is it that you are so gravi you know, gravitated towards this game? Why do you like this game so much? Why do you want to look up the footage? Is it nostalgia? Shall we go see it? What do you say? 
I sure do. Yeah, so I bet you it's blind nostalgia talking. You're like, oh, I remember that game when I was a kid. Alright, that one there. And we'll play Sarah again. Yeah, I, I'd say it have to be some kind of nostalgia kind of goggles. I mean, I'm, that's not saying you think it's good. Here we go. But you could look at it and be like, oh, you know, I remember this shit. I love this. You know, like, I want to see if it was as good as I thought. And then you watch me take the piss out of it and you're like, ah, actually, yeah, you're right. Crystal Vision, you were right. It's uh, it's not a very good game. But having said that, you know, once again, this type of level will look would have looked great in a in a video game, like you know, in a proper platform or something like that. Like, why did they make go to the effort to make these kind of textures, make things actually look somewhat decent, only to just you know, saddle it with a non-racing game, a a walking game. Uh, also, just to point out, I'm just gonna get off because I thought it'd be funny. Um, just to point out. Uh, the, the the characters are pretty much like, you know, you can play as different characters. We haven't played as the last guy. Um, they pretty much control exactly the same. They're similar sized, uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you could, the technical um, fans of this series could go, well, actually, um, Sarah is a lot smaller than Littlefoot, or whatever, you know, like that kind of thing. But, you know, I think that, I think the fourth character is a completely different shape. Um, or, like, you know, the body type. But, you know, for the most part, these guys are all very, very similar, you know, so it's kind of interesting as to why, in fact, uh, you know, why, in fact, they even had different characters, because it's like, it's just pointless, it's like, it's a completely cosmetic change, there's no benefit to using a certain character, or not using a certain character, and that's probably another bad thing about it, they should have made it actually different, you know, that would have been good, make, make the game a little bit different to, to normal, you know, It'd actually give you an incentive to play as a different character. And Ducky, see here you go. Ducky looks completely different. You know, I'll give I'll give them that. The credit the credit should be should be given in this case. See look, these are small little shit. Yeah, let's go, I sound like an idiot. And uh, and also I'm guessing a lot of you are just fans of the series as well. The um the I wasn't gonna say My Little Pony, no, the, the Land Before Time series. Um now I believe I think it was Mr. Ratchet Five that when he guest starred in this LP, um, I think he said that some of the levels are based on movie locations. So I guess that's another cool reason to play this if you want to like look at like look at how it looked like in the movie. Because I mean, there's a lot of Land Before Time films. There's even a, there's like th at least three Land Before Time video games uh, or, uh, on the PlayStation One. Uh, there's like Big Water Adventure, which is like a 2D game, and this other one, which is really fascinating, really weird, uh, 3D platformer that has like six levels. Like it's it's pretty ridiculous. I'll probably end up doing an LP of it down the line. Oh shit, that was a big mistake. Oh, to quote Arrested Development, I made a huge mistake. Oh no, oh, no, I missed them too. I couldn't see the blue because it was too dark. Might, this might be the first stuff I have to redo, guys. Oh no. Please tell me it's only 12,000. Oh, shit. Yep. Didn't get enough. First time, didn't get enough. That's that's all right. It happens. It's because I missed that huge pile one there. Oh. Ducky. You know, I blame Ducky. Ducky sucks. He's not big enough to pick up all the, pick up all the ones. All right. Let's do it again. Screw you, Ducky. You're a disgrace. I can't believe I have to play you one extra time. Uh, if I fail again, two extra times. Right. Anyway, let's focus on this. Let's, we, let's do this. And the, the last level uh, of this like part is um, they're like what's the word? Uh, wait a minute. Wait. 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 Okay. I thought I thought I was holding down a button that would do something different. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. There's no running. There's no like attack. Oh wait, speed burst. What the? F oh my god. I'm an idiot. What the hell is the speed burst? And it's just ruined my points. So, great. Thanks, speed boost, you piece of shit. All oh, right, when you get one of those ones. Yeah, yeah, I got you. See, so you see the thing there? See, when you get a yellow one, it gives you a speed boost. But the thing is, the thing is, why would you want to go faster? Because in this case... Uh, there we go. Nah, that's just stupid. This is the dumbest idea I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Oh no. I did it. I did it. Are you all 
right, Sarah? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm fine. It takes more than a clumsy long neck to hurt a three horn. Look, look, Littlefoot's boulder opened new cave tracks. You want to explore it? What is wrong with that guy? I remember seeing a Milan for Time kit, uh, movie when I was a kid and I loved it. Yet I only saw it like once. So I can't remember much from it actually, but I think it's all the animation, like dinosaurs, it was cool. It was some good stuff, good good stuff. Anyway, in the original LP and these final two parts, I had guest commentators in 1964, Rabid Wombat JR, now known as Fahrenheit Frenzy, and uh, and Crash Bandy Spyro 12, now known as Dingo Crash. And we laughed so hard because I said, this is part eight and the final part of the Let's Plays is before I knew about all the bonus levels. And we just thought it was so funny. It's like, you know, each part took like a minute to record. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, other than the fact that it gave good views, there's practically no point in splitting these levels up into separate parts because they take upwards of like two minutes, you know, for the most part. Like each level is very short. The only reason I screwed up there was because I was an idiot. You know what I mean? They're, you can pretty much do them all in one go. There's no challenge to them whatsoever, uh, you know, except for, look, look at these little minor setbacks, which in fact give you more time to regroup. So there's absolutely no, like, hardship, no annoying aspect of this game, really. Like, in terms, if, you know, if you can't being annoyed at its averageness, uh, something, you know, but like, right, maybe I might miss out here, actually. This is important. Right. There we go, I had to make it over to that one. And speed, ready us to do speed boost. Oh yeah, you see that? Oh yeah, oh shit. Did that do it? 12,000 is all you need? I hope so. Well, look at this, look, look what happens here. You beat all the levels. No, I don't want to save. You know, that's it. That's it. Quick game. You sure you want to quit? Yep. Music volume, like there's any music. All right, so in the next part, we are going to be doing the racetracks. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been a random first part, really. <laughs> How can you even? Yeah, it's just it's just been a, it's just been a let's play part. It's just the, getting a retrospective out of the way because I did it and I have to. Uh, but at the same time, it's good to play it again, kind of just for the, for the piss take aspect and appreciating the graphics. So thank you for watching, guys. In the next part, gonna be doing the racetracks. See you then.